recognize I'm back. Strike a bitch, catch a cop. Cross point. Okay? And that's one. And you flip it over. Ah! Ah! Alright, cross point behind cross. And then we'll be done. Left hand. Right hand. Yeah, you can do that first. <laughs> Am I doing it right or not? Yeah, yeah, you are. Just grab it with one hand. Okay. Ball speed. Work on your touch. <laughs> oh, okay. Same foot. Same foot. Good, okay? Yep. Protect the ball out. Okay. Good, Good, Good Art. Nice. We're going to do each move at each spot instead of switching it up and going to different spots and doing different moves. So we're going to do all of these. We start with the rocker. Which one do you want to start half, or I mean top or wings? Uh, okay. Start with the rocker step. And it can be a pull up or a finish at the rim, however you want to do it. Okay? Yeah. Step five. Keep going, Trevor. Six. Back up, back up, bro. Back up to your three point line. More jabs. Second jab. Alright. So like dribble. Alright. Bam, pull it. Just like that. Hey, what's up? Good. We just make five, yeah. This way, right? I would, I would think they're gonna try to shoot that gap and cut you back that way. Okay? So now you're gonna go finish. Everything's a finish. We should have seven quick ones here. Good. Hold on. One dribble. One dribble. Yep. Good. Nice. Hold, 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 hold. hold your drag just a little bit longer. You don't want to go like that. It's got to be, got to be here and then go. Good. You see that? You see that, Alex? That little pause. Not bad, but not one foot. Good. All right, come on, baby. Good. 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 Six, finish it, Trey. Yeah. Don't tell him to finish it. No, no, no. Well, I'm good. 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 I got it. Instead of coming here and trying to go here, you almost want to like carry it through. Keep it tight. As you come here, you need to try to go really high. And when I get on your hip, it'll pick you. So just come here and then push it through. Go ahead, Art. Good. Ah! Oh, you hear what he said? What did he say? You can like lower it if it's be taller. He said if it's longer, it's easier to take. Pause. Okay? If it's shorter, it's harder to, harder to steal. Thank you. Ooh, good. Ooh. Yeah, that's awesome to me. So our step through is going to be step through the defense, Smitty. We're going. Good. Take our. 
still protect ourselves. So we're gonna work some basic carries. Let's just keep them off your center line. And then we're gonna like work out blocks. That's for when you're trying to punch out wide. All right, so just relax. Yep, catch him, yep. Now he's mad, he's still there though. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, hop, hop, hop. What's your slip to? Back to defense. Yep, relax, relax. Yep. Ha, ha. You know, I'm moving, I'm moving. You're going to fire the jab when my feet start. Stop moving. Okay. So I'm moving. Fire. Yep. Moving, moving. Bam. My bad. Good. Bam. Bam. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. I'm going to see if he's ready. What's your slip to? Ha, ha, ha. So it's going to be one, two, slip, uppercut. Ha, ha, ha. Let's make it a, a hook. Ha, ha, ha. Right. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I just finished the boxing workout. The boxing workout was great. I've been trying to figure out a way to still box in between, you know, my basketball training. So I hit up Nico, and Nico was like, yo, I've been trying to reach you, but we should try to figure out a way to, you know, collaborate and work together and, you know, just touch up on some of your skills because the hand's a little rusty. I ain't gonna lie. You'll be able to see it in the footage. However, I still want to still be able to do something with the hands, man. So I'm just trying to figure out a way to uh, find that balance between training, like weightlifting, keeping my weight, playing basketball, you know what I'm saying, hooping when I need to hoop, you know what I'm saying, training with clay, you know what I'm saying, get the jump shot back right, and also boxing, man, so it's just a lot, it's just a lot to kind of, you know, bring it together, and I'm still trying to figure it all out, but I do feel like it's working, like I feel like it's starting to come together somehow, some way. I think what I want to do is just formally introduce you guys to like, the camp because that's essentially what this is now like it's a basketball camp it's a boxing camp but for me it's a camp to just get in shape uh and and get myself to the best possible version of jay jones at this point i want to introduce you guys to art i want you guys to know art's story uh his age i know a lot of you guys will probably have a lot in common with art so it'll be good for you guys to kind of hear his story here where he's at alex as well alex uh had um acl surgery not too long ago i let him tell that story but you know what I'm saying? His comeback, he's working hard now on the court, trying to get back right, uh, trying to be a potential starting point guard this year for his school. Uh, Clay's story, which is another good story, you know what I'm saying? Been a, a trainer for three, four years now. Really slept on trainer, man. One of the best trainers I know. Again, just how great of a friend he's been when the channel was first starting, really didn't have any subs, was always trying to find me a court, was always trying to look out. So it's just a it's just a lot. I mean, and, and Nico, Nico too. He's been trying to help me with the hands. Uh, Nico has had probably 30 fights. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure he he's had about 30 fights. He's actually Marcus's brother. Marcus was the dude that I was training with before. The real motivational dude, that's his brother. He's for sure uh, experienced in the ring, MMA and boxing, I believe. So, you know what I'm saying? You just take stuff like that into consideration and you just start to kind of appreciate the people around you. And I kind of just want you guys to, to know them as the way that you know me. If you're watching this, you know, I always want to give you guys some type of message uh, in these videos. You got to keep going hard, bro. I saw one guy in the comment section. Yo, tell your story. Put your story in the comment section. I read the comments all the time. You don't got to be corny like, yeah, J. Jones. I, I know I get it. You can beat me and you can fight better than me. But like, for like, but your story, though, like, where are you? What are you looking to accomplish? What are you working on? Uh, I want to know that stuff. I want to know that from people. I want to know that side of you. Not the whole like, yeah, I'm, I can DJ. Like I get me. Like that's cool. I promise that's cool. Like that's not going to make me want to play you or mess with you in any type of way. What I want to know is how hard you've worked. I saw one guy in the comment section. He said he had an injury. He tore his ACL. Commenting back was like, bro, you got to keep working. 
because that's the stuff that's important, man. That's that's the comeback. There's a lot of people who don't think like that, who are actually going through something and actually looking to kind of be the best version of themselves. And I want to be able to help with that. So for sure, keep leaving your comments, man, because uh, the same way that you say I motivate you, I promise you guys motivate me as well. It's just a different type of motivation. Like if I know you guys are watching and you're watching so that you can try to do some some of these things that I'm doing potentially, then it's up to me to keep doing those things so that you can reach the goal that you want to reach too. You know what I'm saying? We all in this together, bro. I feel like there was a time where I lost sight of that, but uh, but not anymore, bro. Not anymore. So I'm going to continue to work hard. I need you guys to work hard as well. Um, and we're going to take it from there. Post your stuff, man. Tag me. And let's just all keep working, man. Let's just all figure this out together, man. Even though we're going through this pandemic and everything seems to be a little shaky, this is the best time for us to really... You know what I'm saying? Get right before the turn up is for real. You know what I'm saying? The best thing to do is get right before everything is back to normal. And then we can just turn up. You feel me? So I'll get at y'all, bro. I'm going to go grab me something to eat. I got a little smoothie here with some whey protein. You know what I'm saying? It's not even the best. I'm going to be honest. It's really not even the best. But, you know, I'll catch y'all on the flip one. See ya. Yeah. What up, squad? Uh, my name's Art. Uh, I'm from Fayetteville High School. Uh, I'm a senior. I just graduated, and uh, I'm still looking to play college ball. I just don't know. Where, just don't know where yet. Anything you looking to kind of improve on? Like, what's your biggest weakness right now? Biggest strength, biggest weakness. I think first of all, my biggest strength is like my size. I'm six seven. I have long length, but my weakness, I say, is my handle right now. I'm just gotta get that better though. Alex, you got a story, man? Yeah, um, I'm a freshman at John Brown University. Uh, okay. I registered this year because I got hurt again. Tore uh, my ACL my senior year in high school. And I just uh, re-injured again this season, so I took the year off to improve myself. But I'm just getting back in the gym so I can have a good season next year. You want to talk about that rehab process? How's that been? It's it's doing really good. Like I gotta do a lot of stuff every day to get it better. But besides that, it's going great. My biggest strength right now is just kind of like my size, so I can like use it to get like when I'm going to the paint, like finish strong. But my weakness is like ball handling and like handling pressure. Mm -hmm. So I got to get better at that, so I can like get past defenders better and like control myself a lot more. That medium to fast 20. Okay, so we're gonna one dribble. So we're gonna go one dribble. Just like that, okay? So here. Yes. Slow it down. Slow your, slow your, good. Yep, there you go. Okay. Oh, have it come on. And watch Jay and Sean, watch them attack my hip. Okay. Instead of, because you don't want to come here, you don't want to come here and then do this. Right. They got to bump into you. It'll be a foul. Right. No matter what, if Jay or Sean goes and I do this, it's I'm in the wrong. Right. No matter what. Yep. Ooh. Good. Yep. Okay. Yep. There you go. Hold, hold. Hey, from here, from here now, we're going to go same thing. We're going to go uh, uh, opposite hand scoop uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good day. Oh, 
Yo, what's good, YouTube? Thank you guys for watching vlog four, man. I just finished editing, like, I literally just got done. I see a lot of people asking about gear, man. I don't have much gear left, but I got an opportunity for you. If you follow and subscribe to Jalen's channel, I will give you one of these items. Oh, oh. <gasps> Let me get them toes out of there. I will give you one of... That out. The Neverfold long sleeve shirt, B bold tee in the medium. I'm trying to just make sure I have a variety for you guys. Extra large hoodie and either black or tan. Trying to get Jalen to a thousand subs. If you subscribe, he said he can see who has subscribed and he's gonna let me know. We're gonna pick a random winner and one of you guys will get one of these items in your size. But yeah, man, that's all I wanted to do. Give you guys another opportunity to get some merch. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, big thank you to the camp, and I'll see y'all on the next vlog next week. Stay safe, drink your water, and take your protein, and love your family. I'm out. Yay! Yeah!